she, she hadn't felt happy and that these losses were hitting her harder. Courtney Bembridge. In Kenya, a new type of ATM is helping to save lives and fight climate change. Instead of giving out cash, uh, the machine dispenses clean cooking fuel. This report from Mercy Juma in Nairobi. Here in Kenya, most people still cook over wood or charcoal, but the smoke causes serious health problems. <laughs> In Kenya, almost 300 people die a week from household pollution. So when you leave the hospital, you can't be a doctor. 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 You can't be a Anything, so my drugs, so it's CLA. But charcoal isn't just a health problem. Supplying fuel to cities has led to massive deforestation, a catastrophe for the climate. But a startup called Coco has a solution. Nairobi has 700 of these new fuel ATMs. They dispense bioethanol made from sugarcane to refill these stores. Switching from charcoal prevents five tons of carbon dioxide pollution a year. We want to convert more and more Kenyans to bioethanol as a clean cooking fuel. Our target market, um, at any given time, they do not have the luxury of having a lot of money. So we've endeavored to make sure that whatever the denomination of money that they have, yeah, that they can quickly run to the ATM Fill your canister, come back and continue cooking. The idea is to match the convenience of charcoal. Last July, there were 42,000 cocoa users in Nairobi. Now, there are 170,000. But the rapid growth means cocoa now has to import fuel. Just I like the cocoa stove because, number one, it cannot cause damage to even my family. Uh, two, does not consume a lot of money. In the past, charcoal smoke made Zachary's son ill. Jacko, you have to look for water. It is, it, it is very smoky. Coke is very okay. I support it. I really support it. The Clean Fuel Initiative there.